I now give the floor to the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, Goodwill Ambassador for Indigenous People, Ms. Rizka Aparecio. Ms. Aparecio, you have the floor. I was born in the heroic city of Tlaxiaco, in the state of Oaxaca in Mexico. This is a country which has 68 indigenous languages. And although there are so many, I, like many children, was unaware of their existence. I grew up in a safe atmosphere, with every comfort. I went out with my family one day to a nearby community and looked out and I noticed something new for myself. I saw and heard my father speaking in a totally different language to the one that I spoke. And I discovered that in my own home there was not only one, but two of these marvellous languages. Because my mother and my father both spoke two different languages, as well as my own. My father's language was Mixteco, and my mother's Triki. Time went by, and I didn't think about the reasons why my brothers and sisters and I spoke only Spanish, and why, in my home as well, we only spoke in, in Spanish. Although we went to visit our grandparents at least once a year, and heard them spoke such a, speaking such a surprising language for me, and such an unknown language. But I was not totally aware of this, unaware of this issue, at least in my own heart, because I began to look around me in a different way. I saw that there were few of my schoolmates who spoke their mother tongue, whilst their fathers and their parents and grandparents, just like mine, did. The reason was that they had grown up only hearing and speaking Spanish. We were unable to look at the world through the eyes of these languages. These languages were, going, were becoming extinct without us having the opportunity to know them. But our parents were not to blame, as I said at the beginning. They were only trying to protect us, to protect our future. They wanted us to grow up in a perfect world. And the only thing was that they didn't want us to go through the same experience as them, experiences of being discriminated against. They believed that speaking the most perfect Spanish possible would open the door to us to more opportunities, even if this would mean closing the door to our roots. Over the last year, I have been an have had the opportunity to belong to something which I did not feel I could aspire to or even dream of, of the cinema. With this experience, I had many marvellous days and others not so marvellous. Many things came to light. There was greater visibility given to people who had never been reflected as human beings on a screen. We were given the opportunity to fight for our dreams and also to demand respect for us as for other people because we are equal. We are not different or strange beings as we are often made to feel when we are stared at because of our clothes which are handmade or by the color of our dark skin the color of our land our physical characteristics which speak for themselves which speak of who we are and of our pride for our descendancy for the languages that we speak, which are codes of our very history and our identity. Today, as Goodwill Ambassador for UNESCO Indigenous Languages, my desire is to help people know more about Indigenous languages, which have existed for so many centuries in our countries. But we have not given an opportunity to these languages to take on their full value or respect. We must find a way of including these languages in education and take the initiative of 
getting to know and learn about the indigenous communities which exist around us. Because ignorance always leads to discrimination. We judge what we do not know. My goal is that parents do not feel obliged to forget who they are or where they come from, to forget their roots, or to try to hide their indigenous languages, to protect their children from a society which discriminates against them, which restricts them, and which boxes them in, both in terms of their job opportunities and overcoming any barriers. No boy or girl should grow up feeling ashamed of their roots. They should know that speaking an indigenous language is a reason for pride. It reveals a world in all its very rich dimensions. I trust that as we defend our linguistic heritage in each community, other people will get to recognize the beauty behind each mother tongue. Because each language contains a unique history. In this year of indigenous languages, as proclaimed by UNESCO, I call upon you to ensure that language, actions which are being carried out in various countries to rescue languages do not end at the end of the year. Rather, they should continue for the whole of eternity so that no more of our history is lost. We must value and respect our indigenous communities. I invite them to reconnect with their roots. Together we can learn to live in a world which is more diverse, richer, and more united. Gracias. I thank the North Korean ambassador for her statement.